The family of a Chattanooga man who was shot and killed says they're disappointed he won't get justice. Hamilton County court records show all charges against the person who was accused in his death were dropped just a day before the murder trial was set to begin. Alana LaFleur joins us now to show us how the family took the news. Alana. Catherine Latricia, the defense attorney in the case, told me the DA's office dismissed the charges because of overwhelming evidence the murder was in self-defense. Ezra Harris has printed copies of his little brother's obituaries. The pictures of Timothy Harris are all he has left. Timothy was shot and killed in 2015. But the DA's office says the murder that happened here on Olive Street was in self-defense. Of course, it's a letdown and everything. We thought justice would be served. I hate that the state went to trial on this right here with such incompetent district attorneys. The attorney for Cordarius Robinson, the man originally charged with the murder, says Timothy Harris had a decades-long history of violent behavior against his wife. My brother is dead and he can't defend himself. And the district attorney, as well as the other lawyer, they basically had a dead man on trial. Robinson's attorney says the evidence of self-defense was strong, which is why he believes the DA's office dropped the case. He says before the Olive Street murder, Harris rammed the car his stepdaughter and Robinson were in. When they got out, the attorney says Harris tried to run them over and punch them. That's when the attorney says Robinson pulled the gun out of his car and shot Harris. But the Harris family says they don't believe that account of what happened. It's more to it than what they let our eyes see. And that's the honest to God truth. Nathaniel Harris says the whole How family is I suffering, guess. but he feels the worst for Timothy's two uh, biological children. It's not a win, win, or a win, lose situation. Everybody lost, but the ones who lost the most was his two children. They the ones that lost. We reached out to the DA's office today about the Harris family's claims that the district attorney's office didn't even try to get a conviction. A spokesperson said they had no comment. Latricia. Alana, thank you. Robinson was already out on bond awaiting that trial. He is now a free man.